Hi everyone, this is Hibba from My Little Journal, and today I'm going to be working in my project life. This is week 28, 2019, and I'm going to be using Kelly Perky's, I believe it's called Love Language Kit. So I'm going to go through my kit and try to figure out what I'm going to end up using. Now because my photos are kind of all over the place, there's no like one occasion or one story or anything like that. So I'm going to try to bring this spread together with my cards. And I love the boldness of that red 4x6 card. So I'm just basically building off of that card. Now this kit came with this beautiful stamp set. And in that stamp set there were letters. Because you can kind of build one of the stamps in that set using the letters and what I decided to do was actually use them to add my week. Now because my label sticker that I end up using in the corner of my card is not big enough to stamp out week, I end up just stamping WK and I thought I would keep it you know simple and grab a small um, number stamp to add 28 but when I stamp it I don't like it that much. You can barely see it. it's such a small little stamp that I end up going through my Kelly Perky alpha stickers and number stickers and just adding them with some black um, alpha stickers. I just felt like it looked better. And to cover up my not so happy 28 or that tiny 28, I end up grabbing a little puffy heart and adding that right in the center. I think it looks fine. I prefer stamping out weak, like with the W E E K, but you know, sometimes it just doesn't work and that's okay. I can move on from that. Now to add a little something to my 4x6 card, I decided to stamp out favorite and document right above my label. I will end up adding some journaling, but not at the moment. I think I wasn't like up to taking this to my typewriter and journaling at that moment. So I end up doing it at the end of the video, but I will move on to this photo of my daughter. She hurt her wrist. I have shared this in my traveler's notebook. I documented it in my traveler's notebook, but I also want to document it in my project life. So I added my journaling right on my photo. I'm going to use that stamp set. It has like these little boxes that you can stamp out and add a word. And I end up stamping speechless. And I used my yellow ink for the box just to bring in some of the yellow from her t-shirt. I'm going to end up sticking that right above my journaling. I use some sticker paper. I get asked a lot about my sticker paper. I do have it linked in my favorites list if you guys want to check that out. But once I'm done with that, I'm going to move on to the next photo. Now, my daughter is very artistic and she came home. She was traveling for over a month. And when she came home, the first thing she did was uh, color or draw on her like light switch. And it was adorable. So I took a picture of that light switch and that's what this photo is. I journaled about it and I'm just going to end up stamping a little stamp that says here with an arrow. I believe this is one of Lo Life Love Papers designs. Forgot the name of the stamp set, but I will link it in the description box. Just stamped it on some sticker paper. I'll trim it out and add that right above my journaling. I'll also go through my puffy stickers. I found a little arrow in blue that fit perfectly on that little arrow like so I end up sticking that on there and just adding a little color to my stamp. Now in that same stamp set uh, I was talking about like how it had these little boxes and letters and you can kind of fill out the boxes to finish the sentence so it says is for so you can let's say add W is for weekend I'm going to end up stamping L is for loving and I was just documenting this photo of my kids hugging. My daughter, like I said earlier, was traveling for over a month. So I wanted to document this beautiful moment of them hugging and it just showed how much they missed each other. So I felt like the L for loving was perfect. Now I hate my handwriting, so I'm gonna end up going through my stamp sets. I grab an old stamp set, I believe it was a Kelly Perky one, and I will stamp out loving instead of using my own handwriting. So I'm using my archival ink. I always recommend archival ink when stamping directly on your photos. It does take a little bit of time to dry, but 
it works out really well, especially if you're using selfie printer paper. I am also documenting my son going on a camping trip with the marching band. It was the leadership camping trip. So I just uh, screenshotted a photo of the map where they went. He did not send me photos, which was shocking. So I still wanted to document it. So just documenting the screenshot of the map was good enough. I trimmed around the T because it said T is for today. And I will slide my photo underneath that. I'm also just stamping favorite from that same stamp set. I end up going through these two cards. I love the love in pink. I felt like it brought in some of the pink. So I end up just flipping that over and using that. I'm also documenting my daughter and I spending some quality time together. Like I said, because she was gone for so long, it was good to catch up. I'm going to end up stamping beyond words on my label sticker, a pink one to bring in more of that pink. Now, while I was going through that stamp set, I saw a stamp that said this is my love language and I thought it would look really cute underneath what I already stamped out on this photo. And I just go back, stamp that and then keep moving on and go back to my three by four photo end up adding the label and whatever I trimmed off, I end up adding that to the bottom corner. I'll also go through my puffy stickers. I'm just going to go through my puffy stickers, add a few to my photo. I even go back and grab that four by six photo of my kids and add one there. I just want to add some dimension. I did a lot of stamping, so I wanted to use my puffy stickers to add more dimension to my spread. I'll even add some to this love card. It just had the love and the meaning of love. And I end up adding a few to that in red just to bring in the red from my card, my title card. Even though I end up adding a lot to my spread, it doesn't look overwhelming. I don't know why. Maybe because I stuck to my stamping more than adding embellishments. But I really like how simple this turned out. I'm going to finish up my spread by adding a few stamps in my O's. I grabbed that same stamp set that I can't remember the name of, but I will end up linking it in the description box. Just stamp a rainbow, I think a light bulb in those O's and finish off that card. Um, I was going to take my title card to my typewriter and add my journaling, but I thought I needed something just to add something to this card. So I decided to trim out one of the pencils from one of the four by six cards that came in the kit. I'm going to trim it out, add it to the top corner, take this to my typewriter, add my journaling, and then call my layout done. I really like how this whole spread came together pretty quickly. I used a lot of stamps and not a lot of dimension, but that's okay. I still like that bold red in my spread just made everything pop. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and if you did please give me a thumbs up and if you are new to my channel please consider subscribing and I hope to see you guys very soon. Bye!